everyone, welcome to another Green Leaf Terrain video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build up another MDF kit that includes some PVC piping from Iron High Artisans. Alex from Iron High Artisans is working on making casts of these so they will uh, save in shipping costs. So you won't get a PVC pipe piece, you'll get like a, a casted piece that'll be the same as this, but it'll still work out the same. So then you have I have separated all my pieces. You got the two cap pieces, smaller and the large, or the larger and the smaller uh, PVC pipes. And then there's the base. This is the top ring for that guy. And then you have this other guy. And it's got the same design on here. I've just flipped him upside down for ease of starting to build. And then just off camera here, we have a pile of these guys are all of our structural supports. And then I have two piles that make up the supports for all of the ladders. And then there is a pile of um, additional things to make this not look like a PVC pipe and to give you some hatch openings and valves and whatnot. So without further ado, let's get to how to build this guy. So first things first, we are going to grab from our pile of these guys and I got a little bit of wood glue off inside here. And it's just a simple case of adding some glue to the bottom of these guys. And then you want the flat part to be facing inside. And then just put it in these uh, rectangular holes. Whoop, see? Wasn't paying attention. Wrong way. That way. Alright, so I'll work all the way around now. So once you worked all your way around, you'll have something that looks like this. I worked all the way around on this guy as well, just where they can dry. It's the same process. So you don't want to have these structures glued in for purpose of painting, but you can sit them in there for purpose of building. And I've just added a little bit of glue to the uh, little lip section of all the other guys down here. So I'm just going to take him and I'm going to flip him upside down and slide him over top here. And then we can line them all up and slide them in. So I just had to spin the structure around to make sure all of these guys uh, lined up and then they just slid in very nicely and then you'll have it like this. So then you can take this guy and do the same thing, add a little bit of glue to all of these guys. Then you have the same process as before, you just take this guy and flip him and he's going to line up with these guys on this second floor here. So I'm just going to spin the structure around and come back when I've got it all lined up. So once I line them all up, I just put a little bit of pressure on it to make sure it's sealed down. And you can see that you can easily slide. Let's grab this big guy, it's heavy. You can slide those guys out of the structure now. And you can see that the structure is solid. It just needs uh, some time to dry. Obviously the wood glue will take a little bit of time to dry. So I put the uh, PVC back in there just for ease of building. I have the two top plates and I'm just going to run, actually it might be easier to do it through. Are you open? Yeah. Let's run a little bead of glue around the top of that guy. top of this guy. You can even super glue these in. I just have my my wood glue on hand. It'll take a little bit longer to dry with the wood glue. That's okay. Just put a little bit of pressure down on that guy. Make sure it's all lined up. And the same thing for this big top plate here. And then in the pile that you'll get, you'll find some pieces. So there's two pieces for this top hatch, 
two pieces for this guy, and they'll just glue together, one on top of the other, and there's a corresponding circle for the circle to go on. And then there's also this uh, hexagonal spot, so there's these little hex guys, and they'll go there. And then on top of those hex guys will be these little valves. So I'll just go ahead and get those all glued up right now. So I got all those guys glued on top. There's also a series of ladders that goes with this. So you'll just need these three pieces. And there is a little bit of um, uh, design on the outside here. So you want to make sure that it's facing outwards. And just a little bit of glue. By outwards, I mean these hooks are on the inside. And then he's just going to go like this. And then I'm going to slide through. Look at it there. So we're going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom here. A little bit of glue to this top. And we're going to slide in. Oh, maybe the other way. There we go. So I'm going to build up the rest of the ladders and we'll get them attached. So first thing, at this point, I'd like to make two redactions to the build. One thing is, when you're placing this top guy on, you want to make sure that these uh, holes line up with the holes for the ladders. So mine were shifted over here, and I had to pull my uh, guys up, but thankfully the wood glue wasn't fully set up, and it didn't break anything, but these structures aren't very, uh, they're not very thick, so... If you kind of mess that up, then it's kind of game over. So make sure that these top holes line up with the holes on the bottom. And the other thing is, I put the design of the ladders backwards because when I put them on, I flipped the design the other way for then the design is on the outside and then you actually can see it. So at this stage, we're pretty much done. I have everything. You can see the cylinders are still moving so they can still be popped out. They'll probably slide this whole structure yeah. maybe I slide that other guy maybe that guy shifted anyways they'll still come out so there are all of these uh, additions that we can put onto the side of this guy but before we do that it's easier to have this guy outside to prime him so before I add all those guys on and there is, let's see here. So we have these Ironheart Artisan Fuel signs. There are a bunch of Caution Flammable signs. There are just the Fire Symbol signs. And then there are these little valve guys. So they have this little tab that's standing up. This hexagon that goes on top. And again, the valve goes on there. So I'm going to build those guys up and then we'll be done the build until I can paint things and put everything together. So there we have the complete kit. I just put these guys together and they can just sit around wherever you want. But again, I am going to have these guys separate for therefore I can paint it much easier and this guy is now a solid structure that you can pick up and paint. You can paint on or paint all your accessories. <clears throat> Slide these guys back in, glue your accessories on, and then you'll be done. So thanks for watching. If you are interested in this kit or any other kits from Iron Art Artisans, you can go to the link below and check out his uh, website. If you are interested in some custom work or miniature painting commissions from Greenleaf Terrain, you can email me at greenleafterrain at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with a quote. 
Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll have more videos to come. Well, I missed... <laughs>